ngayong hapon sa inyong tanan. Ang karong hapon na I would just like to share with you how to use Google Drive to submit your lesson plans for the next semester as well as for the previous semester. So I assume that all of us have Google accounts so we can share, uh, we can share the files with the use of <coughs> Google Drive and do away with emailing our files. So we open our Google account. Ito yung Google natin. And then we go to Google Drive. So that's Google Drive. Now we're going to create a new folder. So nakita natin itong new. Nakalagay dyan new. So we create a new folder. So lalagay natin yung ating course um, number. Let's say SDS200. Lagay mo yung pangalan mo. Ikaw yung uh, teacher. And then you just click create. So automatically you have SDS200 uh, folder in your Google Drive. Then so you open this. Uh, you open my hand, and then you click file upload. However, I suggest folder upload ang gamitin natin if you have already organized your file in your laptop or your desktop. So you have go to folder upload and in this example I have already organized my lecture for SDS 201. So, hanapin ko lang ito na. Ito. So, I choose this folder and then upload it. And automatically, it's here already. SDS 201 with that. So, you see, so is this is the folder in Google Drive and it contains this particular folder that contains my lessons and so if I double click that I have here lecture one so the lecture one has these files the welcome files and uh, so I can add uh, more for uh, folders Lecture 2, Lecture 3, Lecture lecture 4, up to 12 or 15 lectures, depending sa iyong lesson plan for the whole semester. Now, after na ano mo na yan, na gawa mo na yung folder na yan, na upload mo na lahat na files, that would include the PowerPoints, the pictures, the essay requirements, the uh, the internet links, one on the only way natin, then you can simply uh, share this file. No? So, ito folder na ito, pwede mo ito is share. So, if double click mo yan, share mo yan, click share, and then type the person where you, whom you want to share the whole folder. So, in our case, it's going to be shared at graduate school dean at MSU at graduate school dean at, uh, at MSU Jensen at PITS. And uh, you can add more people. So let's say it's add mo yung sarili mo, add mo sa mga kaibigan mo na teacher, and then send it. After you send it, the person or yung email na binigay mo as a, the recipient ng iyong Google Drive files will automatically get that particular file, those files. So if I open now my own account with whom you shared the file, I open it, 
I should be able to see ano yung na-share. So, itong window na ito shared with me will show the file that was shared with me. So, SDS 200. And this is your email, the sender of the file. So, napakadali talaga na i-share yung mga files natin in preparation for our online classes. Good day and hope you are in the best of health today.